How to crochet the cluster cross granny square. For this stitch, you will need a crochet hook. Special thanks to our sponsor, Scassell, for providing today's hooks. Today, we are using their Addy Swing Ergonomic Crochet Hooks in the size US 8H and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Lion Brand, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their Cotton Ease Line in the color Sea Spray. For this stitch, you will need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet, cluster. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain of eight and then join it in the round with a slip stitch. Round one. We're going to begin by doing a cluster stitch into the middle of this ring. Now, when we're doing a cluster stitch at the beginning of the round, we'll do it a little bit differently. So we're going to chain three first, and this is going to count as a double crochet. Then we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the center of our chain here. And we're going to work the first half of a double crochet, so just the first two stitches. Okay, then we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the center again, pull through and yarn over and draw through the first two loops. Okay, so now that we've got three loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over and draw through all three. Now normally we would do this with four loops on our hook and I'll show you how we do that in just a second, but because it's the beginning of the round and we have this row of chain stitches here, we're just, we're going to have one less loop. So now we're going to start our repeat by chaining five. So we'll chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to do a cluster into the ring. Okay, so we'll yarn over and do it. This is going to be a regular cluster stitch. So we'll yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into the center of our ring, draw through, yarn over and draw through two. Okay, then we're going to do that again. We're going to actually do this two more times. Okay, so we'll do that one more time. So we have a total of three double crochets that we've only worked the first half of. Oops, split the yarn there. Okay, so you can see that we've got our three double crochets that we worked half of and then four loops on our hook. So we're gonna yarn over and draw through all four loops at once. Okay, so then we're going to chain two to continue our repeat. And we're going to do another cluster into that same ring. So we're going to yarn over, draw through, draw through two, and repeat that twice. Okay, so that's going to finish our repeat. We're going to do that, the chain five cluster, chain two cluster, two more times. All right, once we've finished our second repeat of that uh, cluster, we're going to chain five again. Okay, then we're going to do one more cluster into the ring. So that's one double crochet. Two. Three, and then we'll draw through all three and all four loops on our hook. So now we're going to chain two 
and then we're going to join into the top, the third chain of our beginning chain. So we got one, two, three. We're going to slip stitch right into this chain stitch here. So we'll just yarn over and draw through both. Okay, pull that tight, and that will end round one. Round two, we're going to begin by slip stitching to the center of this five chain space here. So to slip stitch, we're gonna insert our hook into the next stitch. We're just gonna draw through that and through the loop on our hook. Then we're gonna go through these chains here. So we're gonna go through, yarn over, pull through that stitch and the chain on our hook. And we're gonna do that two more times. And that will bring us right to the center. And you can kind of tell, but not really see the movement along with those slip stitches. Slip stitch is really, really close to um, the chain stitch from before. So it makes it almost invisible. And once we work over these stitches you won't be able to tell at all. So next what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and do that beginning cluster from the previous round. So we're going to do the cluster into this corner here. We're going to yarn over and draw through, draw through two, yarn over, draw through and draw through two. Okay, and so we can see now that because this is the beginning one, we only have three loops here, and we're going to yarn over and draw through all three. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start our repeat, and we'll start that with a chain two. So chain two, then we're going to do three double crochets into this next two chain space right here. So we'll yarn over, draw through, and work a full double crochet, not a cluster. We'll do that two more times. Okay, so then we're going to chain two to continue our repeat. We're going to finish up our repeat by doing the corner, which is going to be a cluster, and then a couple chains, and then another cluster. So we're going to work the cluster as normal. All right, so that's one cluster. Then we're going to chain two. One, two. And then we're going to work the rest of the cluster into the other half of this five chain space here. Okay, so we'll yarn over and draw through these three or four loops, and that will finish our repeat from the chain two to the three double crochets, another chain two, and then the cluster corner, cluster, chain two, cluster. And we're going to repeat that two more times, um, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so after we've completed those two repeats, we're going to uh, chain two. Then we're going to double crochet three times into the next two chain space. It's two and three. Okay, then we'll chain two again. And we're going to do a cluster into 
this five chain space from the beginning of our round. So we're going to yarn over, insert here, and we're working over that those slip stitches that we did at the beginning. Okay, so now we got four loops on there. We're going to draw through all four. Then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to single crochet one into the third chain here of our first beginning cluster. So we will insert our hook into that third chain, draw through, yarn over, and draw through two. Okay, and that will be the end of round two. Round three, we're going to begin by doing a beginning cluster. So we're going to chain three. Then we'll yarn over and insert into that chain space. Yarn over and do that again. Okay. You know, the reason I'm getting all these split yarns is because cotton doesn't really stick to itself very well. So the plies tend to come apart sometimes, especially if you're twisting the yarn a lot. So it's just a matter of the yarn choice that you have. All right, so now we're going to start our repeat by chaining two. And then we're going to double crochet two into this next two chain space. Okay, next we're going to double crochet one into the next three double crochets. So right into the top of those double crochets from the row before. We'll work double crochet into each. Okay, then we're going to do two more double crochets into this next two chain space. Then we're going to chain two, and we're going to work our cluster corner. So we're going to yarn over, insert, and this corner is going to be a lot more tight. So we're going to probably have to push these clusters off to the side in order to fit them both in or stretch it out some. Okay, yarn over and pull through all. Then we're going to chain two and do another cluster into that corner. Okay, so then we're going to finish off that cluster. All right, so we're going to repeat the sequence beginning from the two chain all the way through to that end of that cluster corner two more times. So once we've done our two repeats, we're going to continue by chaining two. Then we're going to double crochet twice into the next two chain space. Then we'll double crochet once into each of the next three double crochets. Okay, then two more double crochets into the next two chain space. And we will chain two, 
and we're going to finish with a cluster into this corner here. So we'll yarn over and work our cluster stitch. Okay, then we'll finish by chaining one and then doing a single crochet into the third chain from our beginning cluster. So we'll insert our hook into the third chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, and that will end round three. Round four. We're doing almost exactly what we did in round three, uh, except that we'll be doing some more double crochets into these new double crochets that we made in the previous round. So we're going to begin by chaining three for our beginning cluster. Okay, so we're going to yarn over and pull through, draw through two, and do that one more time. And then, oh, looks like I split that yarn again. All right, back up a second there. Okay, so we're going to do one more double crochet. We're going to draw through two. There we go. And then for our beginning cluster, we've got three on our loop hook. So we'll pull through. Then we're going to start our repeat by chaining two. So one, two. Then we'll do two double crochets into the next two chain space, which is right here. So there's one and two. Okay, then we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next, looks like there's seven double crochets. So yarn over, insert into the top and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Okay, I'm just going to work these real fast here for you. Now we're going to end this after this round, but you could just continue in this same pattern um, for as big as you want to make it. Um, you would just be creating more double crochets in this section on each round. Okay, so now we're going to do two more double crochets into the next chain space. And then we're going to chain two. So one, two, and then we're going to work our cluster corner here. So we'll do one cluster. Okay, then chain two and then another cluster. And if you're finding that this is really super tight for you, that you're having trouble working this two clusters into the corner, you could always add another chain. Instead of doing two chains, you could do three or even four if you wanted. Um, it's just not going to be quite as tight for these clusters. The cluster gets its shape from being pushed tight at the bottom, so that's why they're only having you chain two right here. So that's what sort of makes it poof out a little bit. All right, so we're going to repeat this two more times from the chain two all the way through to the end of the cluster corner twice. So once we've done our two repeats, we're going to do our chain two. Then we're going to double crochet twice into the next two chain space. And then one double crochet into the next seven 
double crochets. There's three. Five. Oops. And seven. Okay, then we'll do two more double crochets into the next two chain space. And then we're going to chain two. And we'll finish up with a cluster into that beginning corner. Okay, then we'll chain one, actually chain two. That first chain is just to lock down that cluster stitch there. Okay, and then we're going to slip stitch into that third chain on our beginning cluster to finish off the round. And that will complete our square. So those four rounds make up the cluster cross square. And if you want, like I said, you can always um, add more rounds to make it bigger. If you want, you're just going to continue making more double crochets in these middle sections here on each round. So, so there you go. Here's another look at the finished square. Want more new stitch today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.